Hi everyone, hope you are having a good day. Uh, we will be starting with our unit 1, which is a basic introduction to software testing. So, uh, before moving on to software testing, what exactly it is and all, I want uh, you people to understand the importance of software testing. In order to understand the importance, uh, I am going to make you understand what will happen if we don't test uh, an application or you know if we uh, miss out some bugs in the application um, so you know I'm gonna put forth some failure software failures that have actually happened in the real world like you can see now uh, the software security flows revealed in the Ola mobile app so you know Ola and we all will be using Ola at one or the other point right so there were like uh, software bugs that was actually detected in the app and uh, basically it showed uh, that there are certain weakness in the system like in the security aspects and all uh, so that is one issue that has happened in India then there were some issues with the uh, zoom uh, app so uh, zoom is basically used uh, for uh, uh, meetings and all when uh, we started when the lockdown was imposed worldwide right so then there were so many security issues uh, that was reported uh, then another important um, uh, uh, failure that was happened was uh, uh, the security issue with the nuclear power plant so basically um, the International Atomic Energy Agency has actually uh, published a report on uh, the cyber attack that happened in the nuclear power plant. Um, then another interesting thing that happened at St. Mary's Hospital was, uh, you know, uh, this in uh, St. Mary's Hospital what happened was uh, the set of patients who got treatment from this hospital they all received a mail one day that they are all dead because of some software glitch that happened uh, so when the some update happened uh, so what uh, instead of uh, setting a code uh, 20 sorry 01 that means the patient is discharged uh, the code was set to 20 it was a software glitch uh, like some error in the mapping uh, with the patient that happened and because of that uh, I think almost 8500 patients received a mail that they are uh, they are dead and even the mails uh, uh, even mails were sent to corresponding insurance agencies and uh, social security office that you know these people are dead so then they issued uh, that certificate to them like that and other thing is Volkswagen's dieselgate scandal which uh, I guess you would have read it in the newspapers that they um, actually cooked up a report uh, like uh, not cooked up their uh, vehicles were having softwares that will uh, change the emission standards so they actually changed the emission standards according to the European standards when it was not actually uh, the uh, what it was claiming it to be. Another thing is, uh, you know, uh, then just a minute. Okay. So another thing is HSBC's IT out outage. So this also happened. This happened in the year 2016. So actually HSBC outage has happened so many times, uh, one of which happened in 2016. Uh, so when it happened, uh, it, so HSBC as you all know, it is a worldwide bank. So uh, what happened when the outage happened, so many people from around the world couldn't, uh, you know, access and, um, you know, pay, uh, access to payments and the payments were not processed on time. So basically, you know, when it happened, it was actually, you know, uh, 
pay type. So, so many people were left without pay. So, it was a major failure from uh, heads in, uh, from the bank side. And other thing is prison break. I put it as prison break because, um, you know, it's it's a series that I like. But prison break is something that happened in US actually. Uh, what happened? Uh, you know the incident is so many prisoners who were supposed to uh, you know got released before their actual release date because of the uh, uh, because of uh, the uh, mapping issues that happened with the uh, prison uh, uh, updation uh, prison software so the dates got mismatched and the dates got changed and so many prisoners were released before the correct date and another one is an I, the iCloud hack which was quite scandalous that happened in the year 2014 uh, so what happened so many uh, celebrities uh, personal photos were uh, you know uh, were uh, published in reddit and all because uh, you know because uh, some uh, you know, so some people hacked into the iCloud, into the celebrities iCloud account and they took the photos. Uh, so this is actually a security breach that happened. And uh, so then this is Tesco iPad pricing disaster. This actually happened, um, uh, I think around $450 worth uh, iPad was priced for just $49 or something. And seeing that so many people placed the order, so this actually happened because uh, of the software glitch that has happened. So if you see one thing, so you can see, uh, you know, if you make a note of this, uh, you can go back and read it in the, uh, you know, you, you can Google it and read more about it, what exactly happened. So you see one common thing that is, how, that we are having here is software and the issues associated with software that created these problems so you see imagine having uh, our air traffic control system not working um, in an airport like mumbai mumbai is one of the biggest airports in india so imagine the number of flights that they are handling and if the airport control system is not working and it should be actually um, uh, so it should be actually in sync with uh, so many other uh, you know airport control systems right so if this is not working it will affect the entire traffic control of the uh, of the entire region so it will affect so many people in one way or the other so the software issues that happens uh, can be avoided or can be you know, we can identify it before itself, beforehand, if you know we perform testing. So we will be able to identify the bugs or the um, uh, the cause of failure uh, beforehand, and we will be able to overcome it and can prevent this from happening. So uh, this is one thing I wanted to uh, tell about before moving on to the syllabus so that you will have a brief idea of why do we need software testing uh, so this is all about the uh, uh, this is all about uh, the case studies that i wanted to talk about so i hope now you got a good idea of why software testing uh, or what will happen if we are not testing a software in the proper way what if we miss out some bugs that is there in the software i hope you understood uh, my point so moving on uh, we will learn about what is software testing and then so i am gonna give you a brief introduction to what is software testing and why it is so hard so this is all uh, what we have in our unit one then we will have uh, some terminologies that you should be uh, learning before learning the actual testing process then you will learn about what is a test case and what is uh, the testing process 
okay? limitations of testing and what do you mean by no absolute proof of correctness further as i told in the introduction uh, you will learn about a little bit about graph theory why because uh, basic understanding uh, in graph theory is uh, required for you people to learn more about uh, you know uh, the uh, uh, different types of testing so we have structural testing and functional testing so structural testing if you want to know graph theory is important so you will learn more about graph theory and then that's it with our first module i hope you will enjoy the uh, enjoy the course further thank you